Hello, it is uh, day 18 of 31 Days of Tarot, and our prompt today from Ethany is, which tarot decks give you the most insight from their imagery and symbolism? And I think my contender for this one would have to be the Marigold deck by Amarit Brar. Let's see if we can get a good picture here. It is, first of all, off the top, the most beautiful tarot deck that I own. Um, I absolutely loved it. I, I got it as a, an anniversary present from my husband a, a few years ago. So it was uh, published in 2018. Amrit is uh, an Ontario artist and uh, she comes from a Sikh cultural background. Um, now the Sikh religion uh, originated in the Punjab region of India, Pakistan. And uh, it's very interesting how much of this she has incorporated into the cards. Um, the very name Marigold would be one of those instances of it. And the back of the cards all have a Marigold. The uh, front of the cards also have Marigolds quite often. Um, in the border regions or throughout it. And marigolds are used for celebratory and auspicious occasions. And I'm sure you've seen the pictures of shrines and temples that are covered in these beautiful marigold garlands. So she's taken that and adopted it into it. And there's a lot of botanical symbols that are used in this. Now, one of the things that's most striking right off the bat is that most of the figures in this uh, deck are depict that are depicted are human skeletons. So she has dispensed with all of the, the normal characteristics of race and uh, ethnicity and uh, even gender or sex um, by reducing us all to our skeletonized remains and to me it is a, a kind of a beautiful representation reminding us that we're all human at the end of the day and it seems to be something that we're forgetting um, with all of the amount of divisiveness and uh, racial tensions that have been growing over the years to have somebody take a step back and it's like you know, there's only one race and that's the human race. So uh, it's one of the reasons that I really enjoy this deck. Um, the other thing, and, and, and by the way, the skeletons, they aren't at all scary in the least bit. Um, now the cup suit is represented with skulls as a, a drinking vessel or a goblet of some type. Um, the sword suit has, are all edged weapons, um, sometimes swords, sometimes knives, but they're all in various depictions. Um, the exceptions to the skeleton rule, if you will, is um, the pentacle suite, or uh, actually it would be rings in this case, and it's talking about, you know, our material connection to the worth. And in those ones, uh, it certainly is from one to 10. Uh, the hands are depicted as being fleshed and there's an eye on every one of them, right? So you'll see uh, various things. If you don't want to see it, you know, you, the eye is shut off by closing the hand. It's a really beautiful kind of um, symbolic use of it. Uh, one of the things that's really, really um, striking is the suit of wands which is all stalks of uh, flowers or trees for example uh, the eight of wands which is usually depicted with you know the f eight wands flying through the air and it means you know quickly or swiftly or things coming at rapid speed uh, in this case she's used uh, bear branches and fruit and she chose it because the bear grows uh, quickly and bears fruit as we do when we're decisive about our actions. 
So it's that kind of uh, lining up. If you can read the IWS, you're going to have no problem reading the Marigold deck. Um, some of the other things that she's included here is the border around it. You have seen um, that kind of embroidery that is very famous for, they have it around the necklines or they'll have it around the cuffs or the hem of the garment. Uh, quite often, you know, there's loose trousers and then a long tunic that goes over top of it and uh, these beautiful embroidered um, bands that are on the finery and uh, often done in gold. So it's that that kind of embroidery is also represented on the cards. Um, and one of the things that I, uh, and the me jerk on it. Yeah, I wanted to talk about that for a, little, for a second, almost forgot it. Um, once again, we have uh, mostly uh, human skeletons uh, depicting the various characters in the Major Arcana, with the exception of the Celestials, which is, you know, your sun, your moon, your star, and they're different animal skulls that are used. And she goes into why she has chosen these particular animals to represent uh, those cards. And um, one of the most beautiful cards, one of the most beautiful tarot cards, period, all comers, that I've ever seen is the lover. And I'll show it here. Um, and here you have these two skeletons that are gazing lovingly into each other's uh, eye sockets, I guess. And they're wearing their wedding finery, including their wedding jewelry. And it is just, to me, this most beautiful, tender, loving um, depiction. So often we see tarot decks where um, people have tried to break away from the kind of Adam and Eve that comes with the, the regular Rider-Waite-Smith, and they try to, it's kind of a hypersexualized um, depiction and this one I think is so beautiful and it is about you know a lifetime bond and I just love it like I absolutely fell in love with this deck when I first saw it but it's these layers of uh, different kinds of meanings associated with the plants um, that I find is very invocative and that I enjoy the use of it and also because it comes from a different symbolic palette than what I'm used to with my you know western northern European background um, so I'm really enjoying to seeing it through somebody else's eyes and the symbols that are important in their culture so that's my look at day 18 and it is the Marigold deck, and I'll have the particulars on that uh, in the description box below. And I will see you tomorrow for day 19. Bye-bye for now.